was like, girl, I feel like a whole brand new busted. I've been doing this thing where you take perfume, take a hairbrush, you spray it, and then you brush. <laughs> it makes your hair smell so good. <laughs> sassy babies so i'm not showing my face right now because i look crazy and i'm packing my bag because tomorrow evening i'm going to be staying at my nanny's house and it's a saturday so i thought to pack a little overnight bag just so i don't forget anything because i do have to work tomorrow when i come home i just want to grab my bag and go i also might pack one of my blankets i don't know which one i want to take but so far i have these cute little house shoes and because it's basically easter weekend i thought this was very fitting I have some socks. I have this really pretty lounge bra. I have these super cute Jessica Simpson undies. I haven't worn these yet, so that's why I'm showing them. Look how cute they are. So then I'm gonna be packing my little um, bow night set. I also have no idea what the heck I'm gonna be bringing to wear. I need to pack a robe because I'm sure to get cold. Maybe I'll take my brand new one because this is super cute and it matches my PJs. I think I'm gonna take this. So now that I have my PJs, I kind of feel like I need to pick out a cute dress. I just have no idea what I wanna wear. I showed you guys my wreath in one of my last videos, I think, and I actually showed my Nani on FaceTime. She was like, wait, you made that? She was like, that's so cute, look at you. I think I might also bring some coffee because I know she has a Keurig, but pretty sure she doesn't have the kind of coffee I like so I'm gonna probably pack some of this stuff last minute for the most part I am packing my like sleep bag and then I'm just probably gonna pack a dress to be honest because I'm probably gonna be coming right back home about her this super cute little cutting board but I kind of like it for decor she is obsessed with pineapple so I thought this was super cute and I picked this up from Ross for $7.99 in case you guys are interested so I'm gonna take this to her and I actually called her on FaceTime I just hung up and I ordered her a ton of stuff from Bath and Body Works. So yeah, that's my overnight bag and then I'm gonna bring my little backpack. Can you guys believe I only wore this once, I think in Disney World? That was it. I don't remember carrying this around any other day, maybe once or twice. I'm gonna just pack like my phone and my, you know, essentials in here in case I need to go out and I don't wanna carry a whole weekender, so. So it is the next evening. I have plans to go to my nanny's house and all that good stuff. But I think I'm just going to wait till Monday-ish because I want to kind of stay home and pre-film for you guys. I have like five days off altogether. Um, and I really want to just get out as much content as possible. So definitely comment down below what you guys want to see from me. Um, I know you guys like when I do videos at home. So I thought to just kind of prep for Easter weekend with you guys. every time I want to book an appointment for the nail salon they're either booked up they don't offer the services that I want and the girl that I really like to go to doesn't work on weekends and obviously I have to work all this week so can I get my nails done as far as my toes sometimes I get them done at the salon if I'm just feeling like fancy but most times I do them myself because I'm very 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 ticklish and I, it's just uncomfortable for me to get my toes done I have this little step into spring spa collection with like a pumice and like a foot mask and all that kind of good stuff or a scrub and then I have a like bubble jet whirlpool type of tub for my feet I bought this stuff a while back and I just been dying to try it so I'm gonna do that tonight with you guys and then tomorrow at 3 p.m i scheduled my first wax i've been watching a ton of maintenance vlogs obviously girls get their nails done their hair their lashes their brows and they just get like the whole get up but for me in my everyday life i normally don't wear a lot of that stuff and the day's gonna come, you know it. So 
I opened this up. It comes with, I think, the four-way buffer. It's so cute because it has, like, little Easter eggs on it and little bunnies. I definitely will be scrubbing. Definitely will be opening my pumice. Comes with these super cute fuzzy socks. Love that. They're, like, the best material ever. Coconut oil foot mask. I'm going to wash something pretty. Like, legally blonde. You know what I mean? Like, that's... I want to watch something like that. On this perfect day, nothing standing in my way. On this perfect day. I think Ariana Grande made a playlist, like, of all different women that make music. I guess to kind of, like, have an uplifting, empowering playlist, and that song was on there. Hi! Do you want your nails done? <laughs> you eat everything that you're not supposed to. You want to do your nails? I need to do some serious skincare when I come back. For my outfit, I chose something casual and comfy because I'm coming back home. So I just have on this little um, windbreaker. And I have on my Stay Sassy, Have Courage, Be Kind top from my merch linked below. I have on these Forever 21 X Juicy Collab um, little joggers. My bed is a bit messy, but for my fragrance today... I have the Confetti Cake Pop Body Cream. To top it off, I've been using the Beautiful Mess fragrance. I wasn't using this enough. Like, I totally forgot about it after I did my review. Um, but yeah, together, this all smells really good. So that's my fragrance of the day. Know what I got, know what I want. Boy, don't get me wrong. Sure, we're having fun. But it don't mean that I'm in love. I like you a lot. Gotta step up I'm through Trying to tell you what to do How to make me fall for you You should learn that on your own I'll play cool Cause I hope you pick it up soon And you know just what to do Don't you Boy, just be honest I know you want it Such a cute 
little place. I feel so good. I feel like I'm ready to like go buy something cute to wear. <laughs> Hey boo, so it is now 4.04. I just got home. I actually caught an Uber there and I decided to take a long journey's walk back home. And it was really nice because it warmed up. It was just super like nice outside. I got Starbucks. I went to um, CVS because I needed to get some packaging tape. I got my first order from my shop at sassyeverafter.co. It'll be linked down below from, oh, I don't know if she wants me to say her name, but shout out to you. You know who you are. I'll show you guys in a second like the stuff that you'll get in your package. But thank you girl so much for showing the love and support. I truly appreciate it. I will be adding more stuff weekly as i go shopping as i'm clearing out my closet and getting rid of stuff i definitely would love to post since i launched like super late at night unexpectedly she placed her order um going into saturday and today's saturday so i will be shipping it out monday yeah i'm super excited to like start a business and just my own little shop and have so much fun doing that but if you're curious i got the mango dragon fruit refresher with lemonade but yeah i'm back home and honestly my experience was amazing i will tell you that i'll let you guys know where i went in a second it wasn't bad i definitely would go back like it's painful your first time she did tell me it gets easier so i was watching maintenance vlogs of people getting their hair the nails and lashes done i was like okay let me just go so i went and i had a really great experience i found out about this place from a youtuber um so yeah it's called sugar bar salon i'll have it linked down below and then on the back it gives you like a little aftercare of just like don't shave or remove stray hairs avoid direct sunlight tanning for at least 24 hours any kind of sweating and that's fine because i don't work out it says to avoid any sexual activity for at least 24 hours and uh, make sure to exfoliate throughout the week come back in four weeks it's much easier the second time so cute i did schedule my appointment for may which is perfect because it's my birthday month and i'll be hairless and cute but yeah i'll give you guys updates like as hair starts coming back in how long it take like i'll try to like document that for you guys and keep note of it so just if you've never went before i can like be like your big sister your mentor if that makes sense shout out to kia she was so sweet and so kind we talked the entire time we shared some laughs and she made me feel really really comfortable now that i was uncomfortable like i went in there she told me what to do and i was like laying there i think they call it spread butterfly a butterfly <laughs> i was gonna say spread eagle she said do butterfly and i was like okay she was like let me know if you need a break and i was like no just i'd rather you keep going and get it done she was like i'm the same way like we had a lot in common and i really enjoyed that they gave me rose as you guys saw i think she had rose sparkling water and just maybe plain water and of course i chose rose besides all that i had a really great experience and now i need to package this box so i can have it ready for monday anyways let me go ahead and try out my swimsuit that i got from the juicy ferro 21 collab i know it fits super cute but now that i'm like fresh and clean i can show you guys what it looks like so let me go ahead and put that on and i'll be right back <laughs> i can't wait to do my walk-in closet guys this swimsuit gives me boobs okay ah you're making me and my homegirl happy Okay, I'll reveal the bottom in a second. I'm also a little bit bloated, so don't come for me. I also forgot I didn't vlog in there like when she stepped out and like recorded on my phone. And I was like, <gasps> but honestly, truly, like I said, it wasn't that bad. For me, I have pretty pain high up, uh, pretty high pain tolerance. So for me, it was very manageable and I would go back. Yeah, the results are amazing. I feel like I'm ready to go to the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, here's the top again from Forever 21 X the Juicy Couture collab, which just says Juicy Couture, and these were the only like swim pieces they had left, so I couldn't get the matching bottoms, even though they were boring anyways. It literally just looks like this with the little crown on the back. So basic, but I love these bottoms because they tie. Like I said, because I didn't vlog in there, I guess this is my way of making up for it and just like showing you guys the results. Kind of, I feel good. Like when I walked out, she was like, How you feel? I was like, Girl, I feel like a whole brand new busted. Okay, so these are the bottoms. They fit really nice. I didn't even have to adjust the the little ties here. I just put them on how they came from the store. I don't really need to show you guys the back because these are a bit 
cheeky i forgot to order another tripod so you're on my pillows i forget what i got in here i have no idea but it's perfectly good condition box as you guys can see i already went ahead and printed out her label and put that on there but just to give you guys a little background um your items will come with wrapping tissue and then here's my car it's just like this really really pretty minty blue and it says sassy ever after this is my logo it just says thank you with her name we hope you enjoy your items stay sassy have courage and be kind i did go ahead and sign my little signature right there and then i gave her a little note for a percentage off her next order sorry i had to grab some other essentials and i also forgot that i switched into this really lavish robe i picked this up where my mom actually bought it for me from a vintage shop so cute it just it's so fancy feeling like i said it comes with a custom card and normally if you order like clothes or something small it will come in a blue bubble mailer like i said she ordered two items that are definitely not going to fit together in one package so i decided to put it in a box her order actually is ready to go i also sprayed the tissue paper because i'm not spraying your clothing items i know people get allergic or they might not like the smell of it i understand that so i just put like one or two sprays on the tissue paper that's all but my signature fragrance scent is going to be cinderella it smells so good i actually bought a whole brand new bottle specifically for my sassy ever after packages it looks like this to me it smells really nice i'm gonna actually put some on now but normally when you order like a shirt or something small it will come in a bubble mailer i think this is the smaller size maybe i'm mistaken this might be the bigger one that i have and then i have another one bubble mailer with the same card look how cute and then i have a little sassy ever after sticker same logo as the card and I'm just gonna package this up really quick. Sticker. Well, no, I went. I had a wax appointment, oh. but I just got back. What are you selling? What platform were you selling on? I made a website. Really? Cost. Sassyeverafter.co. My stepdad's coming for me, y'all. All right, foods. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the sassy vlog here because I don't want it to be too long, and I know you guys have been waiting for a new video. If you haven't already, make sure you guys are following me on all my socials linked down below. Don't forget to check out my shop. You don't have to buy anything, but you can just check it out and see if you like it. Tag me. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys are subscribed and putting notifications to join my sassy babe family so you don't miss any of my uploads. Don't forget to stay sassy, have courage, and always be kind. Spread nothing but love and positivity. And I will see you in my next sassy upload. Bye, this.